Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to Rule the Waves 3, our Let's Play series playing as... We're playing as... as, as I can't even remember. Italy! Italy, that's it! Uh, we're at war with France, and uh, the war is going pretty well. The French have no battleships left, no armored cruisers left. Quite a few light cruisers, though... And while the war is going well from a ship perspective, victory points are pretty much neck and neck, 28,367 to 28,243. We've been at war for a little over two years. We're kind of running out of ships. We don't have a lot of ships left in service here. We've got five battleships, which are doing okay on a, a decent amount of armored cruisers, but only a handful of light cruisers and corvettes. We are trying to remedy that a bit. We are building quite a few new cruisers and warships and things like that. We've got a couple of battleships and cruisers that will be ready in the next six months. Um, but we've seen unrest and the desire for peace from a couple of different uh, groups. So we'll see how long we're able to kind of keep fighting. Let's go ahead and resume construction on these ships, at least for another month. We'll go ahead and move to the next turn. And it looks like we've got a destroyer raid on the southern coast of France. So we're immediately going into a battle here. Our objective is to sink any two enemy ships. We have a single ship under our command by the looks of it. Uh, the light cruiser Eurydice. She has two 8-inch guns, light cruiser indeed, 10 sixes and 16 twos. Okay. Uh, let's set her up for... Max speed minus two. We'll actually do 18 knots instead of 19. And I guess we'll go toward Nice. Because I'm assuming this is just more of like a raid of coastal shipping. I know it says it's a destroyer raid, but let's go find what we can find. The French may have considerably more in the way of uh, warships in the region. We do know they have many more light ships than we do. Weather's clear, so we should have good visibility, 31,000 yards, so that should help us spot any enemy shipping from a ways out. The objective is actually over here near Toulon, Toulon, Toulon but I'm going to hug the coast because I'm assuming that's where the enemy merchants will be. Nothing yet. We'll speed things up. Ship spotted here. No idea what. Slow. If it's a lone ship, it's probably a warship. Maybe a Corvette. If it's a Corvette, they probably can't outrun us. If it's a light cruiser, they probably can. Second enemy ship, they've turned away. Move at max speed. All right, this is a patrol boat, but to win this battle, all I need to do is sink two ships. It doesn't. I don't think the tonnage matters. So let's pause here. Uh, they have to be greater than 500 tons. What's the patrol boat here? 200, so that doesn't count. Either way, though. Gladly go in and close with that patrol boat. All right, it's dead in the water. They don't carry torpedoes in this area either. Looks like we stopped firing, so I'm assuming it's sinking. Let's move toward Toulon. All right, we spotted another enemy ship. This one looks a little bigger. Merchant ships would definitely be over 500 tons. It's another Corvette. Well, maybe we'll obliterate their Corvette fleet, even if we don't get a win, technically. I can't imagine it would take much to... Uh, Sink these guys. A single eight inch shell might do it. All right. He's pretty much dead in the water. We're still shooting, though. All right. We stopped shooting. So I'm assuming again he's sinking. There's another enemy ship down here. This one claims to be a light cruiser. What's the speed on those guys? 22 knots. So they out. they have better speed than me. But it looks like we sank two Corvettes now. There's two enemy ships moving in, possibly to try and rescue survivors. We'll cut between them. And let's pause here. 
slow to slow. Two enemy light cruisers of the suffix class. That means they have 10 six inch guns, which actually might make them better than my own ship. Like I've, I've got more punching power with my eight inch guns, but they've got a rapid fire ability that I do not have. What do we have again? We do have 10 six inchers as well, but they're not, they're in individual turrets. So I don't, I don't really know what to make of that. All right. He's only moving at 15 knots. I don't know if I've damaged him or if he's moving slower to have more accurate gunfire. We are moving at near max speed, which will make our gunfire less accurate. Oh, they're moving back up at 20, so they probably were just slowing down to get into a uh, position here. Also, we do have two enemy ships with those six-inch guns as opposed to just our one. And we do have eights, but I don't know that we'll hit anything with those eights. Take a look here. We've got minor damage. We've taken one six-inch hit, one lighter hit. We have scored one hit with our eight-inchers total, nine hits with our six-inchers. We'll slow to 17 knots. That will let them get away if they're trying to, but I suspect they want to fight me. Maybe not. I'm just trying to get more accurate with my gunnery, but they're running. We are heading toward the coast, so someone's going to have to turn soon. If they want to head back to their, their ports or the other way. No, they're actually, they could go to... So they might return to port at Nice and pull out. So yeah, it looks like they're going to leave, or, or maybe not. They also have a Lyons class, which I'm now turning towards. So three light cruisers versus one is not really an ideal. This looks like it's a clone of my own ship. 5,100 tons, 2.8, 2, 10, 6, 2, 16 twos. Yeah, that's literally the exact same ship that I have here. Hmm. All right, so I don't love the uh, amount of ships arrayed against me. We could withdraw. We did get two CKEs. We won't win the battle in that case, but we'll at least survive if we can get away. Let's slow to 15. It seems like they definitely want to engage me, so if they want to engage me, I'll try and have more accurate gunfire. They're keeping their distance, which is interesting given their lighter caliber guns, at least for the suffix class. We'll turn north toward our Italian base. At least get back close to port. So the ship that has about equal, we do have other stuff around here, don't we? We got a battery of coastal guns. Maybe we could lure them under that. Let's pause here. What are we looking at here? We have lost, we've taken five hits of medium caliber, one light. We've still only scored one medium caliber hit or one heavy caliber hit, I guess, and 10 10 six inch hits, I assume. Okay. Moving back toward Impera slowly. We've used up half of our ammo already. Looks like the bulk of our shells are firing at the Leon Leonis. Okay. Well, they're turning away when I try and turn toward them, so I guess we'll just run. I don't know if that's a port I can actually pull into. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it. So we're going to pull back under those uh, coastal guns. 
What do I even have? What does this battery have? Six inches. Looks like four six inches. I don't even think they're going to chase me, though. Well, slowly. Nightfall is coming. I don't know. I guess it might be too too dark for my coastal battery to see anything. All right, let's let's try this. Let's try a close range approach. Maybe we can get the best of them. Looks like we took a hit there. Why are we not shooting? Huh. All right, we'll return to Genoa. I don't want to lose too badly. So France gets the credit for the win. We did sink two of their Corvettes, though. I don't know. That doesn't really seem like a victory to me, but it's a minor victory. We're basically still equal in points. Ooh, we have a Naval Academy now. The enemy is raiding our shipping pretty heavily, though. We're going to set... Because I learned in our last video, I was talking about, like, why can't I blockade them? Um, but it kind of came up like, hey, wait a minute. You can't blockade them because the enemy has... Their home region is in the northern Atlantic, whereas we're in the Mediterranean, so we'd have to move our fleet over there. So rather than do that, I'm just going to send a big chunk of my fleet out on raiding operations to try and see if that makes a difference. Also, one other thing we might want to consider is seeing if we can plan for a naval invasion or something like that. Um... I don't remember how to do that. Oh, by the way, we're almost at war with Austria-Hungary now. But like, it'd be cool if we could invade maybe Algeria or Tunisia. Oh, we could do Tunisia. We could set Tunisia as an invasion target. I don't know if I have enough shipping to do that. I set it as invasion target, but it doesn't look like... I don't see if anything's happening here. Maybe I need to pull some of my ships off of uh, raider duties to have enough tonnage to be able to do that. I'm, I'm not really sure. Looks like it is. So if I do this. Yeah. Okay. So Tunisia is an invasion target. Let's end the turn. Uh, this will bring my funds into the red. Okay. Halt one of those ships being constructed. All right. We got a cruiser action in the Adriatic. That's interesting. And boy, oh boy, are we almost at war with Austria Hungary. I do not want to add another opponent to this war because France's Navy is to some extent crippled, but they do have quite a few uh, ships that are building and rather end the war sooner than later. All right. Five inch gunned cruisers, max speeds. All right. Unknown ship spotted. So we've got two light cruisers. I can't imagine they have a ton of ships in the Adriatic. 22 knot speeds for these guys. They carry two at fives and 10 threes, and then eight fives and eight threes. Okay, what are we looking at here? We've got three enemy ships spotted. Are they all CLs? 
four enemy ships spotted. The Leonis class have the heavier guns. What time is it? 1300 hours or 1500 hours. I don't like the odds of this. Why do they have four cruisers in the uh, Adriatic? Let's pause here for a sec. Is there anything I can lure them to? Those might be minefields. We can try and go for Anconia. Do we have a coastal battery? We do. We have a couple of coastal batteries on the Italian coast. Four four-inchers. Four six-inchers. Let's make four Anconia. I'm just hoping that maybe like my gunnery is better than theirs because they definitely have an advantage here. Or maybe we can launch some torpedoes. I don't know. The Erity and the Dogelia are both damaged. We're going to lose them both, aren't we? Hey, we fired a torpedo there. They're both dead in the water by the looks of it. I can't move either of them. Yeah, she's ablaze and sinking, ablaze and sinking. So these are both going to die. Maybe we can get a torpedo into one of these bad guys, but oh, nope, we're the ones hit. Okay. Uh, all right, well, we lost both ships. French major victory there. Two light cruisers, they lost basically nothing. I should have known better. Well, we fought all that way back, and now they've got a, a, a moderate lead. The Navy can get by with less resources. Army, give me a victory, please. Hey, French light cruisers interned due to lack of fuel. Meanwhile, with our switch over to raiding focus, we did sink 12 enemy merchant ships, so we actually sank more of theirs than they did of ours. The light cruisers we lost, those were not on raiding duties. They were an active fleet, which now I lost. We're going to move some of the armored cruisers into raiding, and we'll move some of the light cruisers out of raiding. Meanwhile, three months from some reinforcements arriving. Going to have to halt production on some of these ships here to get us out of the red balance wise sufficient ships on foreign station okay our troops are embarking for the invasion of Tunisia hell yeah invasion battle battleship engagement the enemy has no battleships the French Navy declines battle, and I gain a 1,000 victory points. Nice. Our invasion of Tunisia goes ahead with no interference from the French Navy. Hell yeah. Convoy attack. Battle in support of land combat. The French decline battle. We get 800 more victory points. So both of the battles related to the invasion of Tunisia went ahead without any, victor any interference from the enemy because they don't have enough ships here. And another cruiser battle being declined for lack of French warships in the Mediterranean. Coastal raid also declining for lack of French ships in the Mediterranean. Let's decline this cruiser action off Angola. Hey, we got Tunisia. Hell yeah. The enemy fleet dominates the seas around Angola. Lose 60 victory points. I don't care. Seven merchant ships lost on both sides, but you can see the victory points here swung considerably in our favor by 3,000 because of all those French. Basically, the French were incapable of stopping our invasion of Tunisia, and now we have begun to turn the Mediterranean into Mare Nostrum, our sea. You can see we took Tunisia from the enemy. It's not very valuable. It's a value of four, which, interestingly enough, is the same as uh, Algeria. 
Sardinia is a five. Corsica is a five. But it is expanding our empire in a realistic way as well. It's not like we're taking, you know, southern France as much as Italy maybe would have liked to take some limited provinces along that way. So that makes me think maybe we should launch an invasion of Algeria as well. Take the uh, North African coast. That's also, in my opinion, a great way to expand is Italy because you take possessions that require stuff from a colonial perspective, but you don't actually enter into new sea zones, so it doesn't increase your overseas um, obligations in the way that, like, taking Angola obviously does. But should help the French economy or the Italian economy as well, at least a little bit. No oil there, no oil in Algeria, but let's do this. Let's go ahead and set an invasion target for Algeria and see what happens. Man, I really don't want to go to war with Austria-Hungary. France has no battleships, but they're building eight. Austria-Hungary has eight battleships. I would instantly put me behind in battleships and armored cruisers, which I'm currently ahead in, and would only add to the gulf of light cruisers. Also, the budget, like Austria-Hungary's fleet budget is... About a little more than 50% of mine. Actually about, what? I can't do, I can't do math. Five-eighths of mine. So that would just make things worse from a funding perspective. <sighs> They're building six battleships too. Jesus, how can they afford that? We'd be very quickly blockaded, I think, if Austria-Hungary got back into the war. In any event, though, so we took Algeria. We are down to how long on some of these ships? Two, three, four, three, two, two. And then you've got working up cruises. Okay. Destroyer right off the southern coast of France. So we got another battle going on here. We just have the one ship, the Clio. And again, same objective, sink two enemy ships. Eight five inchers and eight three inchers. And we're near Nice again. I don't like this this mission. Don't make me fight this battle. Drizzle rain, eleven thousand sighting yard range. So it's actually pretty limited visibility. Also, how do we have a destroyer raid when we don't even have destroyers yet, technically? Oh well. Headed in toward Nice, and then the actual objective is near Toulon, Toulon, to whatever. So we'll do that, speed things up. Now it's nighttime, so visibility is getting even worse. So if we do spot anything, it'll be at like point blank range. There you go, <laughs> right on top of us. Unidentified ship. Just start shooting, boys. Maybe you can fire a torpedo into it before they even know you're here. Well, I hear gunfire. Something's shooting at me, so why am I not shooting back? There we go. We claimed a hit. Oh, we're hit by a torpedo? God damn it. Oh, they fired one, and we just broke in half. What was that anyway? A Surkov? What kind of ship is that? That's not that's not the right that's not the accurate ship. That's not a KV. They can't carry torpedoes. Fuck. There seems to be something bloody wrong with our ships today. Hell yeah, the latest army offensive is, has been a complete success, breaking through the front in places. Gain fifteen hundred victory points. There you go, boys. 14 merchants, first nine. Come on, France, ask for peace. All right, we're planning for Algeria. Now, with the loss of that ship, it also reduces our upkeep, so our monthly balance is back in the black. Also, it might be because we have income from Tunisia now. I'm not sure. All right, in one month, we'll get two armored cruisers. Actually, three armored cruisers will complete. They're not armored. Light cruisers will complete. Of the Cushion class, 
They have two six-inch guns and a single gun in each turret fore and aft, eight five-inch guns, and ten two-inch guns. I went with the two-inch guns because our technology has an advantage with two-inch guns. You can see here we have, or no, why did I do that? Three-inch guns have the quality one. I should have gone with the three-inchers. Maybe that, maybe that research occurred after. Okay. Still not at war with Austria-Hungary. We've almost been at war with uh, France for three years now. All right, our troops are embarking for the invasion of Algeria. Battleship engagement? They don't have any battleships. But it looks like we're going to fight. Uh, I've got the Andoria, Andrea Doria and Caio Dulio. 13-inch guns of terrible quality, negative three. That's like the worst in the game. And then we also have... It's over here. I don't see anything else. So I'm assuming we have to protect the invasion force, which I'm guessing is over here. This is interesting. I've never fought a battle where you have to protect an invasion force. I've done invasions, but I can't remember actually fighting where the invasion force was a target that you had to defend. All right, here's some French light ships over here. I wish I had some screening vessels for my battleships, but hopefully we can at least keep them off my invasion fleet wherever it is. Okay... to keep the distance a little bit make sure that they don't torpedo me and i'm okay if i just harass them into port the invasion fleet's back here by the way you can see they're back toward behind me so we're losing sight on some of them i'm going to turn back to the invasion fleet make sure that we're screening them although i don't want to lead them to the fleet uh, so don't want to like let them ignore the fleet and then or let them ignore me and then they like sneak in on the fleet because these are like actual ships i have to protect it should be a lot easier if i had some real escorts then i mean also is quite a few and this is this is a decent sized fleet it's several transports two columns of ships this is a tricky one the enemy all has the speed advantage. I think I've got the advantage of being out front of the fleet in that I can kind of screen them, at least for the moment. But if they try and wheel around and go for the flank, that, that could be a problem. Okay. Now, the nice thing is, even though I'm slower than the enemy in this particular scenario, because they've got light ships and I'm heavy, I'm faster than the invasion fleet. So I can still kind of weave in front. Oh, shit. The invasion fleet's under fire. Did they just turn around? All right, the enemy did get in amongst them there. They came in on the flank, like I said I was worried about. The Dupe Tour is pretty much dead in the water almost. They're making like five knots. I'm in close. I don't know where the rest of my uh, transports went. I don't see any reports on the upper left about them. These guys are still shooting back. Got to make sure they can't shoot. But where did the invasion fleet go? 
less than 50% of fuel remaining on the battleships. We've been steaming at 16 knots. That burns through precious amounts of fuel. Uh, it looks like the enemy has mostly stopped shooting at me. I'm still not seeing anything in the upper left about the invasion task force. I don't know where they are. Duper tree turret hit, flash fire ship blows up. Okay, there you go. We got him. We got him. All right, invasion fleet, where'd you go? Enemy light cruiser over this way that we just spotted. That doesn't bode well. All right, here's the merchants. That light cruiser might have been laying in wait. I'm not sure, but it looks like the bulk of our transports have made it. So far, anyway, we've got at least four ships left, which I believe is the objective as we have to screen. Let's pause for a second. At least four ships have to reach the objective, okay? We've taken some flotation damage, 11 medium hits on our lead battleship. We have one 13-inch hit, 27 secondaries, though. That's uh, six inches. And uh, 33 six inches and two 13 inches. So that's what did the, the work, the six inches on both my battleships. Presumably we're going down here toward Algiers to land. So we'll have to see what the enemy sends at me. AMC and two or three transports. I don't know that I should be moving at 16 knots. It's burning large amounts of fuel. We'll see if the enemy tries to interdict us again. Was there anything else back out there that was still trailing? I thought I saw a ship back here, but maybe not. So I think the enemy did sink some of our invasion force, which might influence how successful the invasion is. Oh, there's one more over here. So we've actually got five ships surviving. I don't recall if it was eight to start or if it was six or seven. But I think we've done an okay job Screening the enemy or screening friendlies. Oh, there's two more over there. So actually we've, that's making me feel better now. I've got six friendly ships in sight, in tow, in two columns. I think that means the enemy's only sunk one or two ships at the most. This could, oh shoot, we got all four there. I think the whole invasion force is, is intact until now we've got an enemy ship coming in, presumably. We've got overcast weather, which means visibility is not great. But whatever that was turned away from us. I'm not going to go chase it. I'm assuming these transports are going to turn toward Algiers, but maybe they're going to land on the coast rather than at the port. I'm not sure. I'm taking up a more rearward position here because I think it's more likely enemy ships come in from behind now. I suppose they could come from the east, but... Again, I assumed Algiers is the objective. I don't actually see a spot on the map where it shows where we're landing. Poor visibility is probably... I don't know if it's helping or hurting me. It's kind of making it harder to screen these vessels. The flip side of that is it's making it harder for the enemy to find where I am. And when they do run into me, they typically see the battleship on the outside of the task force rather than the merchants, which probably gives them pause to actually attacking, but I guess we're landing here based on, unless they're going to make a sharp turn here in a second, or they're all going to go aground. Now that our battleships probably used up all their uh, gunfire that they can use in support. Am I supposed to like tell these guys where to go? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh shit. Who's shooting at us? I don't even see a coastal battery. What is shooting at me? Uh, 
unidentified land feature. Okay, guys, that's obviously the fort. So we've got to, I'm assuming we've got to deal with that. Let's slow down before they sink all my transports. So we got a four inch coastal battery, four inch gun coastal battery, which I'm assuming is what we have, we have to destroy in order to land. The visibility here is so terrible. Let's slow down to three knots and let's just kill these guys at close range. Unless they're going up to Algiers, maybe now, I'm not sure. Doesn't say I have to destroy the uh, fort, though. All right, we're taking some damage here. We're taking some hits. We're claiming heavy damage on the fort. Come on. Kyo Dulio, come in and finish him off. Why is and Andrea not turning? Turn. Do you not have steerage way? Are you not moving fast enough? Come on, turn. I don't understand why the task force is just sailing off on their own. Um, come on. You're just going to sail away. This has to be a bug, right? Or maybe the rudder was damaged. Now that the four inch battery got to just hammer my transports. That guy's taking a lot of damage. Okay, boys, just shoot at it at the damn thing. Take it out. I don't know if stopping in front of the enemy battery is smart, but... We're taking a fair number of hits and a fair amount of damage. The uh, Kayo is okay, though. It's the uh, Andrea that's suffering. All right, four inch field battery. It says sinking, whatever that means. I'm assuming that means it's destroyed. Or now it says heavy damage. It's still shooting back. 38 light hits. Okay, can we just destroy the damn field battery? This is where I need more guns in support of this raid. I hope it doesn't sink me. All 
How do I destroy this guy? Do, 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 do. do they have a limit on how much ammunition the field battery has? Oh, are there there are multiple soup forts here? There's another field battery back here, four inch field battery. God damn it. All right, get out of there, boys. I don't want to lose a battleship to this. All right, objective reached, it says. I guess. Maybe we destroyed that battery. I'm not sure. What did we just spot? Unknown ship. Great. Are our ships just going to sit there and get sunk? I don't really know how this ends. Hey guys, it said you reached the target, so how does the battle end? Do I have to like sail my ships into port? Because I'll do that if I have to. I don't love leaving you guys un unescorted though. I'm probably going to lose the Doria, aren't I? She's not in good shape. Maybe if I can drive the enemy ships into port. Okay. The lone battleship Dulio is sailing forth to engage the enemy task force. Maybe I can drive them into port and then it then it'll end. Oh no, they're moving toward the fleet. And now they're turning away. Okay. This is such a weird battle. to deal with more enemy fortifications. All right, let's just go very fast. Okay, there we go. The battle's over. Italian victory. We did have one battleship heavily damaged, one light damaged. We sank one enemy armored cruiser. Uh, looks like we put heavy damage on an LT, which I'm assuming is a light ship. We also destroyed the land fortification, or maybe that's what the LT is. Um, seven merchantmen survived. The enemy didn't sink anything of ours, so we did have some moderate damage for some of those ships. Um, everybody reached the objective, so that's a victory for the landing force. We gained 5,000 victory points by protecting the landing and sinking the enemy armored cruiser. Hell yeah, we also get two prestige and uh, that's a that's a big lead. After the victorious battle, our troops land in Algeria. Yeah. All right, we got some light cruisers joining the fleet, three of them of the Kushan class. Heavy fighting in Algeria. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. Well, yeah, they were damaging my battleships too. So we haven't won there yet, but we at least got a considerable amount of victory points for landing our troops. Also, presumably this means we have to assign some ships and other things like that to protect those boys while they're ashore. Also, it looks like we might be at war with Austria-Hungary now. If not now, then next turn, which is not great, Bob. Not great. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, we got our troops ashore. We took Tunisia. We're in the process of taking Algeria. 
You can see here. Man, it would be nice to to knock out the enemy there. I don't know if this is a red circle because we have a landing underway. I'm not sure. But in any event, those three ships completing construction means now I have the cash to resume construction on the other two. Actually, on three of the, the ships, and we're still good. We could go ahead and resume construction on this armored cruiser for about six months before things become an issue, and by then... We'll have completed more light cruisers that will make my budget situation even better. And in fact, we'll have two battleships completed as well. With the sinking of the enemy armored cruiser, they, well, it says they have three. I don't know if that's pre-loss or if maybe one of the ships they were building was completed. Still no battleships for them in service. Um, but yeah, good news. With that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. A lot of little battles, a couple of important battles. I don't know that anything was big, but at least some important battles. And um, we're in the process of stripping France of at least part of their empire. A little bit worried about this whole Austria-Hungary situation. We'll see how things play out in our next video. Until our next video, though, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Once again, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Bye-bye.